Hi, Tim West here with Green Mountain IT Solutions, back with another video. If you have questions, you'd like to contact me, or you'd like to hire us for a project, my contact information is in the description down below. Today we are going to be talking about building a client portal on your website that you can use to share files. In other words, this is a part of your own website where you can share, upload, and change files back and forth with your customers. The first thing to know about doing this is that we need to use a service as our back end. Probably you do not want to just store the files on your own website. Reason why? It's going to take a lot of space. It's going to beat up on your web server. It might be kind of slow. Uh, it might be difficult to provide adequate security. So you really want to use someone else's storage as your back end. I recommend using Dropbox or Box.com. Unfortunately, they have similar names. I recommend using one of these two services for a few reasons we'll discuss in a minute here. The easiest way to do this is to add to a WordPress site now a lot of people's websites are already designed with this framework called WordPress, easily the most common way to build a website these days. Some people out there might gripe and groan about WordPress, and yes, it does have its advantages and disadvantages, but it makes things like this very easy. Basically what we're gonna do, there's no secrets, we're going to use a plugin from this website, wpcloudplugins.com, use a plugin that's gonna connect our WordPress to our Dropbox or box.com storage and make it appear as our own portal. Uh, let's take a look at the plugin site. Here it is, wpcloudplugins.com. Okay, now they support a few different services here, Dropbox, and box, I've tried, Google Drive, I've not tried. OneDrive, if you already are an Office or Microsoft 365 subscriber, you might say, oh great, it supports OneDrive. The problem is that this plugin does not support SharePoint, uh, which is more appropriate for sharing files. Trust me, if you're trying to share files out of OneDrive, you are going to have a bad time. OneDrive is meant for your personal files. Uh, the other thing is your storage limitation. OneDrive is only gonna support in the default 365 one terabyte of files. That might be plenty, that might be not enough, and it can get pretty expensive to boost up the storage space on 365. So again, I do not recommend using OneDrive for sharing files, we would need to use SharePoint for that, unfortunately, just because of some factors that are inherent to how SharePoint works, it is not supported for this configuration. So again, I recommend looking at Dropbox or Box.com, both of them fairly affordable. I tested this with the standard plan for Dropbox business, $12.50 a month uh, for five terabytes of space, that is a lot of storage for the price and Dropbox works uh, works great. Of course, the other advantage with using these storage backends, if I can find my notes, right? Sync them as a folder on your PC. So you have your clients folder in Dropbox, you put a file in there, automatically it's going to appear on your client portal on your website, okay? Box.com is actually a little bit cheaper. Unlimited storage, 15 a month. So actually, no, it's not cheaper because their basic plan is only 100 gigs, which is probably not enough. Uh, the other thing is that both Dropbox and Box.com integrate with 365 if you're using that almost as a replacement to SharePoint. So check out these two services. Dropbox, I like, 1250 a month, five terabytes. That's a good deal. That's per user, by the way. You do have to purchase the plugin as well. $35, I believe. Not sure if that is a one-time 
or a subscription. Yeah, it's a one-time $34. Pretty good deal to add this to your website. Don't be fooled. Uh, you are going to have to engage with a web designer unless you have web experience yourself. This is just what makes the magic happen between Dropbox and your website, but it does require a web designer to integrate into your site and customize it and all, all that stuff. This is just a, a framework. So I actually have a demo site over to Dropbox. I've set up a demo for this. I'll show you how this works. Just head on over to dropbox.com. I set up a trial for Dropbox for business. And here is my clients folder, okay? That was actually under recent. Let me just go to all files to make this abundantly clear. And again, you can sync Dropbox, as many of you know, sync it to your computer so it appears as a folder on, on your computer. So I've created a shared folder, the clients folder. And automatically when you add a user to your portal, they're going to get their own private folder created here. That's the only thing they'll be able to access. So I've used my email here, that's why that's the name of the folder. You can also create a folder here manually and link them uh, to have access. So I just put some random sample files in here, okay? A picture and a sample PDF. Now let's head on over to my demonstration portal, okay? So here's my demo portal. This is all customizable. You can make this, you can change this logo here, so on and so forth. So you're gonna create a login for each customer or client and they'll get their password, of course, and they log in. And here's the demo. So now notice I'm looking, I've just signed in as Tim at GreenMountainITSolutions.com. I'm looking at my client folder. Notice these are the same files as we set up uh, in here. Let me go ahead, I'm just gonna add a new file. And again, you can you could do this through a synced folder on your computer. Let's upload a file here, just a, uh, just a sample. Upload, there's my backup, uh, backup plan dot docx. Now, head on over, give this a refresh, and seamlessly, there it is, your client is seeing this. Again, this is all customizable. This is the important part right here, this section. You could add this, you know, change this color, change this style, customize all this however you want to flow with your website, okay? That's about it. That is how you can add a client file portal customized to your website, giving each client their own private folder leveraging Dropbox or Box.com as the storage backend. By the way, last thing, they don't have to know it's Dropbox even. I could change this header here. Uh, everything's customizable to fit in with your own website. This is a bare bones demo. All right, thanks for watching. If you'd like to hire us to help you out with such a project or you have questions on anything else tech related, Please see my contact information in the description down below.